Hey, I'm RT and welcome back to RT's World. So, today I have a very different video concept for you and this time it's building three casinos very, very simple, very, very fast. So, as you can see in front of me, we have here three casinos. We have very small ones. The redstone behind it is really, really compact. You can fit those in every casino on every single player or multiplayer world. They don't produce an, a much lag. They don't take a lot of effort or materials to build, but they will attract a lot of customers since they're pretty nice concepts. And I will maybe try, depending on how well this series will go, this starting video, and uh, do similar stuff like every so and every now and then release three small casinos, three small concepts that you can build very easily, very fast on your server world to attract more customers. So the first casino I want to present to you is the tower casino. It is very small footprint, four blocks wide. In between those columns, we have one row gold and two rows of diamond. And if we insert a diamond, nice. Now we want two diamonds back and the gold bar. Yeah, now we only want one diamond back and there's also always the odds that you only win only the gold bar and you as a casino owner make a profit. But you can completely customize those odds I mentioned before with 100% odds for the bottom row. Then we have 66% for the second row and 66% for the third row. And 66% is always represented by two non-stackable and one stackable item. That would be 50% and that would be 25%. Ah, sorry, that would be 75% so on you can add your like you can increase the chances by putting in non-stackable items and by putting in stackable items like that you decrease the chances a lot so depending on what your application is and what your prices are you can completely customize this casino here and your customers will love it i guess because yeah usually you, sometimes you win gold and sometimes you win like two diamonds back which is great so next up the second casino is uh very simple also we have either gold or diamond in this dropper so 50 50 percent odds of winning each of those as you can see here on the sign but there's also a 50 percent chance of winning a second item so if you throw in one diamond there is always the chance that there will be two diamonds ejected at you and then we, when you turn a profit so now it was diamond and gold now it was only gold so i made a loss as a customer now now again i get i got my diamond back Again, I got my diamond back and so on. And it's completely random, but usually you get your, your diamond back, but there's always a slight chance that you will get two gold ingots and so on. And that's when you as a casino owner will make a profit or now I got only one gold. So it's, yeah, you have to depend on people playing very often, very long, and then you will turn a profit on this machine automatically. And of course you can customize those odds again. Here's the 50% dropper. That would be 66, that would be 33. So you can completely customize your odds in this dropper here and therefore calculate how much profit you will turn on this machine. And for the last uh, machine, this is the only one which is five blocks wide since this looks much better by displaying the hopper, uh, sorry, the dispenser items in here. You could also use a dropper, of course, it doesn't need to be a dispenser, but uh, as you can see here, we have the configuration in the dispenser marked or displayed on this uh, three by three item frame wall and we again insert a diamond and you can play this machine super fast gold gold emerald emerald gold can we get a netherite yes now we got a netherite so it's completely random and this machine is the simplest one of all of them it simply closes off the the hopper if you throw in an item and as soon as the dropper fires the piston extends back uh, retracts back again and you can play this machine really really fast as you can see here so and from then i will go to the tutorial part so make sure that if you like this series make sure to leave a like or leave a comment in the comment section down below i would really appreciate that since i'm trying out a, f a new few new concepts on my channel and yeah now we will try to build these machines and the challenge is to build the machines in under one minute each of them in under one minute i can see if I, let's see if i can manage that but yeah maybe <laughs> maybe you can do it but maybe you can't. So yeah, let's give me one to two minutes for each machine. So it's super, super fast to build. And I will see you in a second. So let's start with the first casino. The first casino will be this uh, three by three item frame casino. And we want to start with a frame that is four blocks high, five blocks in between and four blocks again, quartz columns. 
Then we want to grab our sandstone and put in those three by three areas. Get ourselves some item frames, put them down like this. Two lamps in between a dropper. Then we want to grab some hoppers. Face both of those hoppers sideways. Get a cord upward trapdoor. Get some cord spillers here. Uh, stay there. Then go to the back side. We want to add in a chest to store all our profits. And then we want to dig down this area like this. And then we have to switch to a lot of redstone. Come on. To be a little bit faster since it's speed building. Like this. Repeater in there. Two pieces of redstone. Comparator. And redstone torch there. Then we want to fill in in the first dropper like this. Should go down to 18 now. Let's see if it works. Nice. So hopper is filled. Then we want to grab ourselves a sticky piston. Place it in like this. Grab ourselves a quartz block. Place it in there. And then we want to grab a red wool for the red wool. Repeater set to two ticks. Red wool there. Red wool like this. Connect everything up. Place in a repeater set to one tick. Place in a note block and we're finally done. So if we want to throw in a diamond here, it now is stuck. Why is it stuck now? Oh, since this one here is connecting. So we have to do it like that, of course. Sorry, that's what you have to change. So if we throw in now a diamond, everything works. And the last thing we have to do is now, yeah, like basically just repeat the pattern that we have here. So, for example, if you want to do like this and leave all the other slots open, you can do a configuration like that and then, yeah, you will win any of those items in there. Nice, first casino built done. Let's go to the second one. So, again, we will start with a four block high column of quartz, four blocks in between and then another column. From here on, we want to place in some quartz stairs like this. Then we have to put in here a quartz column. Here a quartz column and place in those stairs like that dropper, uh, redstone lamp. Here we want to remove those two blocks and set two hoppers to the facing to the right. Another birch trap door. And we want to make sure that we have something to cover this hole up. We will use a quartz block here and there. So it looks like this from the side. So next up we want to dig down here, this uh, hole, here again two blocks. We have here our profit chest, we can add in now the redstone. So two, two blocks here, here two blocks, repeater facing in that direction, two blocks of redstone dust. Comparator, reading the output of the hopper, redstone torch beneath it. Then putting some diamonds in there, we should end up with a complete number of 18 in here like this and then we want to grab ourselves some red wool place in a repeater set to two ticks here red wool torch uh, block torch two blocks a sticky piston facing into that quartz block we set there like this two pieces of redstone dust two pieces of redstone dust here so we can power the dropper then we want to make sure to have here again two ticks uh, dropper with a stone sword and any item in there then a hopper then we also need a composter to cover the hopper and here we have now the output set to this into running into this redstone line here and a repeater set to two ticks there so that leaves us with being finished here so we have one or we have two outputs can we get the two yeah now we got the two so now we have simply to fill in here some diamonds or stuff like that and we're completely finished. Great. There's a 50% chance of winning two items. I did not decorate it like here, so you always feel free to decorate it like that, but for the speed building I won't do that here. And yeah, now we're going to the last build, which is the tower. So for the tower casino, again, four block high quartz pillars, four blocks in between, and again another four block high pillar. Then we want to grab in some lamps, put them in like that, some droppers, put them in on the side. Then here row of uh, quartz blocks, here a quartz block, here two quartz blocks. Then we want to grab some hoppers, 
face them into the right, put in a bridge trapdoor like this, that's our input. We can remove the bottom one, then dig this hole like this. We want to grab some more redstone stuff, light blue wool like that, repeater, two pieces of redstone, redstone comparator, torch, and our profit chest like this. Then we want to put in some diamonds in here. This first uh, slot should go down to 18 again. Perfect, then everything is fine. Then we want to grab in a piston, put it facing in that direction, getting a quartz block in like this, and then we want to grab some more red wool and go on with the rest on tech. First of all, let's start with the inputs. Repeater set to two ticks. We have here uh, two pieces, uh, three pieces of redstone in this configuration. We have here two blocks, another repeater here set to one tick, and we want to grab in a note block. No, I didn't. I was not prepared for the note block. Note block. Switch this block here out to a note block that we updated. So then we want to have here two pieces of redstone, and here on top two pieces of redstone. That's all our input lines. Then we want to grab in a repeater, uh, a block, set it like here, put in here a 3x2 platform, two pieces of redstone on either side, compared to facing in opposite directions there, placing two blocks, redstone repeater set to two ticks, here we grab ourselves a dropper and a hopper, dropper, hopper, and also maybe some composters. Into this dropper we fill in two stone swords and one random item. We want to read the output of this uh, hopper here. We go like this, two blocks to the side. Here, another block like that. Here we go up, one and one to the left, like this. Here we want to place in a redstone repeater like this. Another block there, dropper, hopper, composter, again place in two stone swords one a stackable item then we want to place in sorry here a block with a repeater a redstone converter reading the output of this hopper two pieces of redstone and a repeater so now we're done and the only thing we can do now is add, add in some more sounds so first of all the first note block will be here so that's the first tone we have we can play with the second one can be there simply put in an iron block beneath it that would make a nice sound and put it set it to one and the last note block can be here set it to two so now if we grab ourselves some diamonds put it in there nice everything works no nope, the second one did not work now and i also found the error so simply remove the note block put it in here that's why it wasn't it produced an error so now it should work fine again grab some more diamonds nice perfect and now you can decorate it simply again like these casinos here and one thing i also forgot is here we can also add in a note block just add it in here add in a iron block beneath it and we have now here also some nice sounds if you want to play the machine so that's all for today i hope that you enjoyed the video this was uh, really challenging to build those machines that fast but as always there's a world download link in the video description so if you want to download this world here and want to decorate the machines as i did it and you'd only watch the block by block tutorial you can always pause the video and look at those machines or you can simply download the world play around a little bit and yeah there you can decorate the machines as you like and of course you can also customize all odds in these machines so if you have like better prices or if you want to charge customers a little bit more you can always decrease your odds or increase them depending on what which way you want to go so that leaves me with one thing to say thank you very very much for watching and i hope i'll see you in the next video bye bye